everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video um, I'm here with Mojo. Mojo is my red French toy poodle and I'm going to show you all of the different organizing systems I have set up for her around the house. So the stuff in the kitchen, the stuff in the bathroom, the stuff in the front entrance of the house. I'm going to take you around and show you how everything is organized. But first, if this is your first time watching any of my videos and you are looking to start getting organized for the very first time or you just need some kind of jump start to get back on track, you can check out my free video series on my website alejandra.tv and it's going to show you three things to do tonight to wake up feeling more organized tomorrow. Okay so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the entrance way of our house. This is the front door. This is the garage door right here um, and so every time we take Mojo for a walk we pass through this little hallway to get out the door and get on our walk. So whenever we take her for a walk we always tell her we're taking her for a walk and she starts getting all excited. She starts jumping and so when she gets all excited Ed and I need to get out the door as fast as we possibly can. So one of the things that I do to get out the door as fast as we possibly can is I have this wall organizer right here that contains everything we need to take her for a walk. So in these drawers right here, this middle drawer is hers and it has all of the little poopy bags that we take on the walk um, with her when we take her. And so what I do is I take all of them off the roll because we want to get out the door as fast as we can and I don't want to take this whole roll, I rip them apart in advance. So I'll just come here and rip them apart. They're kind of hard to get apart, so that's why I do them in advance. So just come, rip them apart, and then they're all just shoved inside of this drawer just like that. So every time we go for a walk, we come down here, open the drawer, we grab one, and we go. It's nice and fast and it's easy. And all of the refills, like all of the extra rolls are kept in the coat closet, which is the next system that I'll show you. Um, okay. So those are just in here and then down here I just have all of these hooks for um, like we put our keys here and stuff. But we also put her leash here so her leash just hangs out here. Um, obviously we grab that and then we will sometimes take a water bowl if we're going in the car somewhere or if it's a really hot day we'll just grab this the bottle of water or something and then that just hangs out right there also. So I really love this wall organizer because it has extra drawers like in this one this isn't pet related but we keep sunglasses and headphones in here and then my gym bag hangs out down here and then like I said our keys. I got it from Pottery Barn um, like a year and a half ago. This collar has been discontinued um, but they still have brown. Anyways all right let me show you the next system which is the coat closet. Okay so now we're inside the coat closet right here and this is one of my favorite systems in the entire house because it's easy to use, it's easy to put things away and when things are easy they get done and things stay organized and everyone is happy. <laughs> so this is just a great system. So it has um, all the winter accessories and all of Mojo's sweaters are in this bottom drawer right here which is what I'm going to show you. So this drawer right here has, first thing is her cone. I'm not going to show you everything but just like the high level things. Her cone for licking or if she gets surgery of some sort. Her sweaters. So Mojo has four sweaters. She wears them all. Um, some of them are thicker than others. And um, during the winter time, we'll just hang one of them downstairs by the, um, the entryway hooks next to her leash. So when we take her for a walk, there's a sweater right there, nice and easy to grab. Um, so the rest of them stay inside this drawer right here. And then all of the extra bags for going on a walk stay here. So when it's time to refill that drawer down there, come to this drawer, grab the extra bags, bring them down, refill the drawer, put them back in here. Um, and then there's some other accessories. Now, I'm looking in the store right, right now and I'm seeing things that I know she doesn't use, she doesn't need, and I don't know if she, she loves them or not, but we don't use them. So now is a good time to pull out stuff that um, no longer serves us, Mojo and I. <laughs> and the point here, this is, isn't really like a dog specific tip, but just a decluttering tip in general. Whenever you come across something inside your house that no longer serves you, you don't need it, use it, love it, immediately pull it out as opposed to waiting to schedule this, you know, entire weekend of decluttering your house, which you might dread doing or procrastinate getting started. You can avoid having to do a big purge if you just do a little bit at a time as you come across things that you don't use, need, or love. So as I'm in this drawer, I'm going to just pull out things that I know we don't use. So these little bandanas that we get from the groomers, she itches to get them off um, so we don't put them on her. These little booties, they don't fit her. A ball that she chews and pulls the threads that we took away from her can be gotten rid of. This. Um, this. Anyways, the point is 
When you find something you don't use, immediately pull it out. All right, so now that we talked about this drawer, let's go down to the basement and I'm gonna show you um, two, two of her other systems um, that we use on a daily basis. Okay, so now we're in the basement of the house and this is the back door and Mojo loves to go outside and play, come back inside. And so because she goes outside a lot using the store, I set up a station right here with all the things relating to her going outside and then back inside. So this bench right here on the top, um, we just have Edenai's shoes to go outside. A lot of times we go outside to grab her because she's barking a lot. And so we just put on our shoes right here. Uh, at the bottom, there's three baskets. So the first basket has all of the um, clean towels. So when Mojo comes inside, we always wipe her paws with a towel to get the dirt off and stuff. And so these are all the clean towels. All the towels that are currently in use are above me on three hooks. Once those towels get dirty, they go upstairs to the laundry, they get washed, they get dried, they get folded, and then they go back inside this nice basket right here. So these towels are actually old kitchen towels. Once towels in the kitchen get stained, get old, get raggedy, they make their way down to this basket because they're still functional. They're still, you know, they're, they can still be used, um, so they get repurposed here. All right, so the second basket right here has more of the poopy bags um, for picking up in the backyard. So again, I do the same thing. I take everything off, um, off the roll to make it really nice and easy to grab. So those go right there. The third basket is empty. Um, and then the last thing here is to label the basket. So of course you can just look in the basket and say, okay, that's towels, that's bags, that's empty. But I love labeling systems. I feel like it completes the system, but it also, it also makes it really obvious uh, where something goes and where to put something back. So at the bottom of the shelf, I just wrote patty wipers. This says doodle bags, and then that is empty. Um, and patty wipers might not make sense to you, but I love labeling in a way that, um, you know, is fun for our family, that makes sense to us. Um, Cause you know, it's just a way, it's just a place to get creative with whatever you're organizing right there. All right, so that's what I do there. Um, and then in terms of all of Mojo's paperwork, like vet records, um, breeder information, and all that good stuff, this is, um, you know, this is her file folder. It says pet records. It goes in the red section of my filing system, which um, if you've seen the video, red means permanent. It's, it's basically papers that you never throw out. Uh, so what I keep inside is, I wrote myself a little list here. All right, so I keep shot records. I keep any kind of surgeries that have results on them. I keep her, um, her birth information, and then I keep any in, uh, important pet insurance information. What I don't keep, I don't keep the pet insurance policy because the policy can be accessed online, and so it's just unnecessary paper. It just makes the filing cabinet thicker, so that stuff is online. Uh, I don't keep any kind of discharge information, so if she gets um, a certain surgery or you know, something where there's instructions on what she can do in the next week or something. I'll keep that piece of paper out, like on the fridge or on my desk or something, and then once those instructions are no longer relevant, then I just get rid of that paper. Um, yeah, and instructions for aftercare, I don't keep that. So yes, yeah, so that's what I keep. Um, basically, if something can be accessed online, um, like any kind of um, policy, which I already said, but anything else that can be accessed online, I'm trying to err on the side of just accessing it online because the filing cabinet is already so full. All right, um, but I don't do that for everything. It's only certain things. Um, and let me just quickly explain it. So for certain things I don't access very often. If it's something that can be accessed online, but I, but I access it often, I keep it hard copy because I'm a visual paper person, if that makes sense. All right, so um, at the very top of the folder, I paper binder clip it together because it's a thicker folder and I feel like it sits nicer in the filing cabinet when it's nice and, um, you know, together with the binder clip. All right, it's a lot of information in one sentence. Okay, so that's, um, that's all the systems down here in the basement. Now uh, let's head upstairs to the kitchen and I'll show you where we keep all of our food and treats. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen right here. And um, so this cabinet right here is Mojo's cabinet. It's, it's the cabinet all the way at the end of the kitchen right by her bowls. So um, this just has, doesn't have very much stuff, but there's her food is in here um, and I keep a scoop in there. So we just, um, hi doodle. So we just open it, we scoop it out and put it into her bowl. So that stays right there. And then right here inside of this, so this is that um, in my D DIY organizing video I did in the beginning of this year, um, I showed this box. This is just an old Clementine box that I painted. 
put some ribbon around it and now it just holds all of her um like there's treats in here hi doodle there's treats there's um all of the um what is this the heartworm prevention things that we give her every month and then she has the um the flea and tick right here also so do that once a month so she goes crazy over these things and it's actually time for her to have it you want to have this doodle you want to have this you want to have this okay sit sit <laughs> she loves these things like we had the before um before we got this kind we had the like the pill form and she like wasn't really crazy over it and then now these things she just like loves all right so all right so that goes there um so yeah so there's treats and then the place where we get um her food they always have samples so we like to try different foods um you know every time they have samples for small dogs so these just get thrown into here and then every time the um the big bag runs out then we give her some samples if we don't have another bigger bag and then um all of her bones go in here <laughs> and actually you can't say the word bone because she knows the word bone <laughs> so I guess I'll give her a bone. <laughs> so last time we gave her a bone, we gave her a bone last month, um, and she tried to take the whole bag. <laughs> so what I do is I take them out of the original packaging, and then I put them into to a plastic baggie right here, because I feel like they stay fresher. They stay more fresher. Fresher, whatever the word is. Okay, ready? Okay. Sit. 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 Stay. 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 <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> the, the raw hides are in this bag right here. Um, this video is <laughs> turning into uh, not about organization, but okay. So, um, so then the refill, the big bag, I buy a big bag of her food. The big bag stays inside the pantry. And so every time this gets low or it gets empty, I just take the big bag and I refill it into here. All right, and then... Um, so every once in a while, Mojo will get a stomach ache in the middle of the night and her stomach will start gurgling. And when that does happen, she loves to eat grass outside. And so we don't like for her to eat grass because she throws it up and it just makes her stomach, I guess it coats her stomach, but she ends up throwing it up and I feel like she feels worse. So what we do is we give her rice or we give her pumpkin or we give her banana in the middle of the night. And so um, when we don't have one of the things we like to keep on hand is rice. And so, um, so I buy these minute rice containers because a lot of times it's like three in the morning and <laughs> you know, you don't want to spend 30 minutes making rice at three in the morning. So these are just, you pop them in the microwave for a minute and then, you know, there's rice and give it to her. And a lot of times she feels better, like instantly, like five minutes later, her stomach ache is a lot better. So that stays back there. We always make sure we have those. Um, there's some wet food in there. And really, that's everything inside this cabinet. So now, um, let me show you the next system. Okay, so now I'm in the family room and this is to uh, Mojo's toy basket that just hangs out on the floor next to the sofa. Um, so all of her toys really do not stay in the basket. A lot of times she pulls them out, she plays with them, and then every couple of days I'll go around, put all the toys back in the basket. She'll pull them back out and it's the same cycle over and over. Um, but they all live inside here. So every once in a while, I will wash all of her toys, um, and I just stick them in the washer on the delicate cycle, and then I just dry them in the dryer, and they're all perfectly fine. Even the ones with the squeakers, um, they do fine in the dryer, and I've never had anything like melt or come apart. Okay, so now I'm upstairs in the bathroom, and this is where Mojo takes a bath, brushes her teeth, and then gets groomed. So I give her a bath inside of the jacuzzi tub, which is over here, you can't see it right now, but I keep her shampoo, conditioner, and then her her, um, her cup for rinsing her inside of the hallway bathroom medicine cabinet. After she's done getting a bath, she then comes right here. This is the drying station slash teeth brushing station. And I'll just put a towel down right here. I just use a regular bath towels, like the ones that we use. Um, put her down and then, um, you know, I dry her and then I brush her teeth. And I keep all of her grooming stuff inside of this middle drawer right here. So I talked about this three drawer organizer in my makeup video a couple of months ago. I just love this thing. It's putty down, so it's not gonna move when you open the drawer, you close the drawer. It's clear so you can see everything inside without taking, you know, without opening a drawer and stuff. And then I added these labels to categorize what's inside. So there's daily, there's mojo, and then there's stuff that we use on occasion. And it works great. So, um, so again, inside mojo's drawer, we just have her toothbrush, her toothpaste, her comb, um, scissors and then a little bag of um, ponytail holders which I'm actually going to set aside to 
get rid of because we don't use them. Mojo hates having rubber bands in her ears and on her head and stuff. Um, so anyways, that is how I um, have organized and set up all the systems when it comes to organizing all the stuff from Mojo. I cannot tell you how efficient and how streamlined and how easy it is to access every single thing that I showed you t um, today in this video. It's just easy, it works, it flows, and um, that's the beauty of having systems, organizing systems inside your house. Life is just easier. So I hope, this, I hope you found this video helpful. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can subscribe for more tips on getting organized, or you can check out my website, alejandro.tv for more videos, more photos, and other ways that you can learn to get more organized and stay organized. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye. Up, 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 up. Okay, okay, sit, sit, down. Roll over. Good girl. Okay, do one. Okay, up, 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 twirl, up, twirl. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Good girl. Good poodle twirl.